on today's episode, flying to Catalina and having lunch with my old friend Jason. Hopefully he doesn't do any uh, loop-de-loos or anything like that. Um, Because I really don't want to throw up today. So stay tuned. All right, we made it to Jason's. Let's go wake him up. All right, we're in Riverside now, which is one of my old stomping grounds. I think I know it like the back of my hands. Um, not too far from the airport where we are going to fly in a, what kind of plane? It's a Diamond Star, DA-40. What he said, DA-40. <laughs> Super fancy plane. What's the max payload? <laughs> That's about, it's roughly 600 pounds, oh, depending, okay. depending on how much fuel you so have. So we can have a board. big lunch. We're going to fly out to Catalina. Yes. The uh, flight time is what, roughly? Uh, 35 to 45 minutes if we get routed around John Wayne's, uh, John Wayne Airport's airspace, but okay. uh, 35 to 45 minutes. Sweet. Beautiful. So we'll get some nice uh, flight footage. Oh, yeah. Um, have a little lunch after we land. Yeah. Get some eat. pictures, maybe get some roaming bison. That's right. Not to eat, just to just yeah. the video. Well, they do have uh, they do have the bison burger, which is oh, my personal favorite. Yeah. So I've had a bison burger at this other place in uh, yeah. San Diego. It's really good, actually. Yeah, if you like it, the one at the it's called the DC Three Airport okay. Cafe. Uh, a little plug for them. Cool. I think you're you're gonna enjoy it. It's, I'm dude, I'm psyched for it. It's like going back in time, though. You'll you'll see when we get to the airport. Uh, they, that, that I'm already back in time in here. Riverside. It's crazy. That's right. Do you know much about the island? Do you know if the, the Wrigley family still owns any of it, or if that's back mm -hmm. in the day? I think. Uh, don't quote me on the dates and stuff, but I think uh, when they uh, they ended up giving it giving it over to, and it's now the Catalina Island Conservancy. I think it was donated by the Wrigley family. Right. They may own some property for like their. You know the grandkids or whatever that go over yeah. to visit and stuff, but because uh, I was gonna wear a Cubs shirt and maybe get a free <laughs> drink at a bar or something, but because I know yeah. the Cubs are bigger than the Dodgers are there. Yeah, well, the so. Cubs used to have spring training on that island. Yeah, years exactly. and years ago. Yeah. So, you like oysters? Oh, I had some yesterday. Oh, nice. Oysters. Best oysters, oysters I've ever had have been on Catalina, actually. Really? Yes. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I, uh, we had some uh, lunch yesterday. Stephanie and I were out. She took she took me on a date to uh, restaurant. Took you on a date? Client. Did yeah. you tell her husband? No. No. Okay. No. So it made it made it more exciting. Dude, this shopping center. Uh. Oh yeah, you used to shoplift from here. Is that? What you're <laughs> yeah. Statue of limitations is over on that. So you're yeah, gonna... well, that's true. That's another video. Yeah. <laughs> My confessions is... video. Yeah. yeah, I haven't been down here in a long time. Yeah, not much of this has changed. I mean, no, it's all it's the like, same industrial stuff yeah. along here. And... It's a time warp for sure. Yeah. It's messing with my brain. Oh, I love coming back here. It just doesn't get old to me. No, it's awesome. All right, we're pulling up to the airport. We're gonna check out the plane in a few minutes. What are we doing? Are we taking a shot? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so part of pre-flight is you know you want to do you want to strain the fuel. Okay. To make sure that there's no moisture in the fuel. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like. This is a. Wait, isn't fuel supposed to be moist? <laughs> <laughs> um, if there was water in here, um, you would actually see it. Okay. It, so it would like separate a little bit? Yeah, it'll okay. separate it and it'll show you that, okay, you want to strain that fuel because a lot of times if a plane, this plane is hangered, but if it sits out. Um, Water can seep in. Yeah, this is just one of the many things we do for pre-flight, but cool. I want to show you that. And what's happened before too is a lot of times planes will sit on a ramp at an airport. And if they sit for a significant amount of time, you might have critters, you know, a bird oh. or even like a, a squirrel or something. A squirrel. <laughs> so you always want to look. What about like little bees and wasps and stuff? That's happened too. We'll yeah. A little bit of their cowlings and there's a nice little wasp nest waiting for them. Wow. What are you doing there? Just checking the oil. Um, it's a fairly sort of very important part of your pre-flight. What type of oil does it take? 36 weight uh, for the, it's all ball bearings. Of course. It's all, it's all ball bearings nowadays. <laughs>
this guy. You have to pay a landing fee here, which is I'm happy to pay because it keeps the runway going. And it's just I can contribute. <laughs> it's three hundred dollars. Oh, so we take a post dated check. So that's, that's right. Place to come. And there's a prison bus over there. <laughs> so I'm gonna push the plane back. Okay. And you can just be a second set of eyes for me. Sure. Spanish. Uh, oh wow, this is really cool. Artwork and uh, just the heritage behind it is really cool. Can you go over about an hour's worth of the heritage? The bison that are on the island uh, were brought over to make the movies right. back in the day. They keep like 200 head at any time and the rest of them are taken off the island so that it doesn't get overpopulated or whatever. So they control the population. Right. And again, that may have changed, but this was years ago. They should just have all female here and that's how they control them, just like the dinosaurs. Life finds a way. I think we've learned that. Oh, that's true. When, yeah, but uh, I mean, Nedry, come on. But that was Hammond's mistake. Well, he was cheap. Yeah. Hammond was cheap. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Two of the DC3 lunch specials, please. That's the famous bison burger here. <laughs> Dripping with flavor. <laughs> Dripping. But we're being good, too, because we had salads. <laughs> it's all about balance, buddy. That's right. Bison are dangerous. Sometimes you'll see like the fresh ones, obviously. Right. But I've got pictures of my son when he was younger and was willing to do it. Now he's too cool. But when he was little, I said, hey, buddy, hold this. And I took a picture of him. What is it? I guess it's buffalo poop. It's a buffalo chip. And of course, when he's eight, he said, this is awesome. <laughs> he couldn't wait to go home and tell mom that I got to hold <laughs> buffalo poop on Catalina Island. Yep. That's what you got to do with your kids. It, it is. It's Rite it's of passage. You it know. is. What kid doesn't want to hold a big giant turd? And there's the back side of the sign. <laughs> The ninth wonder of the world. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's a wrap on Catalina Island Airport. Heading back now. Got some swag. That's a pretty cool plane. A little Tony the Tiger. And here's my ride right here. You need a mirror on yours. Thanks. I like it. I put it on the other day. I freaking love it. It's like 15 bucks. <laughs>